My mind's uh, somebody's writing us that uh, he's a middle-aged fellow, and he was circumcised. His, he was circumcised at birth by the hospital doctor. So is he considered circumcised? Does he have to have some sort of kosher bris? Um, and does this uh, does his not having a uh, if he has to have a, a kosher bris? Um, but that uh, but could that be holding him back from growing spiritually if he doesn't have that bris? Well, definitely a person that doesn't have a kosher bris it definitely could be holding him back spiritually, no question about it. Because a bris means covenant, like covenant with Hashem, that we take upon ourselves to serve Hashem, Hashem takes upon himself to, uh, as his nation to protect us and uh, do, do all the good things he promised for us. So it's a, a, a understanding, a bris is understanding a covenant between two parties. Each one takes upon himself something and uh, we took upon ourselves to keep the Torah and learn Torah. Hashem took upon himself, so to speak, to bring our God and take care of us and give us all the good things in this world and the world to come. Uh, so definitely, if it does not have a bris, it can definitely hold him back. Definitely does hold him back from growing spiritually. Does but, he need another bris? So that he has to have a mohel, a, a, a qualified mohel, a man, who, a rabbi who makes circumcisions, he must inspect what was done in the hospital to see if it, everything was taken care of like it should be. And there have to be a little blood, blood will be, no matter what, we'll have to have some type of blood being like maybe just a tiny bit to uh, make it uh, totally uh, like it should be. Probably it's not 100% the way that uh, it was done. And maybe, maybe some, a little bit of operation is needed to make it totally acceptable. But uh, that you have to have the mohel, the, the experienced mohel, the, the circumciser to uh, check it, and uh, it has to be done.